in this video i will show you another linear application of operational amplifier back in old days when there was no digital computers scientist scientists were used operational amplifier to perform different mathematical operations we can perform several mathematical operations using operational amplifier such as summation or addition subtraction or difference differentiation and integration using operational amplifier now i will show you the summing amplifier or summer circuit or adder add circuit of operational amplifier the concept of summing amplifier is that it will take several input voltages at the input side and in the output we will get output voltage which will be equal to the weighted sum of the input voltages okay so this is the typical circuit of an operational amplifier summing sir, summer circuit or summing amplifier here this output is connected with the inverting input therefore this is a negative feedback operational amplifier so when an operational amplifier is connected in negative feedback our positive terminal voltage will be equal to negative terminal voltage here this inverting terminal is directly grounded therefore vp equal to zero so i will get vp equal to vn which will be equal to zero volt now see in the input side we are applying three voltages v1 v2 and v3 with biasing resistance r1 r2 and r3 the region inside this green shaded region indicates the same point this point and this point will indicate the same point okay now we, when we apply v1 at this terminal a current i1 will flow in this direction when we apply v2 at this this terminal a current i2 will flow in this direction when we apply v3 at this terminal a current i3 will flow in this direction okay so what will be the how do we calculate the current i1 i2 i3 and this i f you know that if let's say we have a resistance here the value of resistance is r at this end it has a voltage v1 and at this end it has a voltage of v2 and a current i is flowing from v2 towards v1 now how do we if the current is i how do we calculate the current i we apply ohm's law what is ohm's law voltage difference divided by resistor see current has to flow from higher potential to lower potential therefore here higher potential will be v2 and lower potential will be v1 and we divide that potential difference with the value of resistance r okay now see i1 is flowing in this direction okay so the voltage at this terminal is v1 and the voltage at this terminal is vn the i2 is flowing in this direction and the voltage at this terminal is v2 and the this terminal is vn the voltage at this terminal is v3 and this terminal is vn therefore i will i take i1 equal to v1 minus vn divided by r1 i will take i2 equal to v2 minus vn divided by r2 and i will take i3 equal to v3 minus vn divided by r3 now how do we calculate if see if is flowing in this direction that means this terminal voltage will be higher with respect to this v o so i will calculate if equal to v n minus v o divided by r f okay see at this terminal as the input resistance of operational amplifier is very high therefore the inverting current through this inverting terminal will be zero and this non inverting terminal will also be equal to zero and our here our vn equal to zero negative feedback makes this voltage and this voltage this and these voltages are equal okay now at this terminal we have three car three currents incoming this i1 is incoming this i2 is incoming and this i3 is incoming and two outgoing current this zero ampere is outgoing and this if is also outgoing so if i apply kirchhoff's Car current law to the inverting terminal i will get two 
आउट गोइंग करंट समेशन ऑफ आउट गोइंग करंट इक्वल टू समेशन ऑफ इन इन समेशन ऑफ आउट गोइंग करंट इक्वल टू समेशन ऑफ इनकमिंग करंट हेयर इनकमिंग करंट सर आई वन आई टू एंड आई थ्री सो आई टेक आई वन प्लस आई टू एंड प्लस आई थ्री एट द राइट साइड एंड आई टेक जीरो प्लस आई एफ इन द लेफ्ट साइड नाउ पुट द वैल्यू नाउ पुट द वैल्यू ऑफ आई एफ आई एफ इक्वल टू भी एन माइनस भी ओ डिवाइडेड बाई आर एफ पुट द वैल्यू ऑफ आई वन आई टू एंड आई थ्री इन दिस इक्वेशन आई विल गेट भी एन माइनस भी ओ डिवाइडेड बाई आर एफ इक्वल टू भी वन माइनस भी एन डिवाइडेड बाई आर वन इक्वल टू भी टू माइनस भी एन डिवाइडेड बाई आर टू प्लस भी थ्री माइनस भी एन डिवाइडेड बाई आर थ्री As this non-inverting terminal is grounded, there it will make this inverting terminal voltage Vn equal to zero. Now put the value of Vn in this equation. I will get minus Vo divided by Rf equal to V1 divided by R1 plus V2 divided by R2 plus V3 divided by R3. Okay. Now if I take the Rf in the right side, I will get Vo equal to minus Rf in Into V1 plus R1 plus V2 plus divided by R2 plus V3 divided by R3. Now, if I multiply this Rf with the terms in the inside the brackets, I will get Rf divided by R1 into V1 plus Rf divided by R2 into V2 plus R. F divided by R3 into V3. Okay, so this is the output voltage equation of the operational amplifier when it is connected in. So this is the output voltage equation of the summing amplifier. See the output voltage is the weighted sum. Weighted sum means that with the input voltage I have to multiply this R F divided by R1. With the second input, R F divided by R two and R F divided by R three. With the third input, so this is the this output produces the weighted sum of the input voltages. Now, if let's say the feedback resistor R F, R one, R two and R three becomes equal. If I take this R F, R one, R two and R three equal, then I will get output voltage V O equal to minus V one. Plus V2 plus V3. See in the right side, I get the sum of the input voltages. So the summing amplifier will produce this negative sign indicates that the summing amplifier will produce an output voltage which will be the invert the inverted sum of this. This negative sign indicates that the output voltage will be equal to the inverted sum of the Input voltages. So this is the operational amplifier, summing amplifier, or summer circuit or adder circuit. Okay, that's it. Thank you.